Okay, so I've made it to Darjeeling Express. This is a major bucket list item for me. This restaurant is somewhere I've wanted to come to for a long time. They were featured on Netflix's Chef's Table. It's an Indian restaurant in London, in Soho. And already I'm blown away. The very first thing I ordered was uh, just a simple mango lassi. But they make it with green chilies and cumin. And it's it jumps. It, it's way better than any mango lassi I've ever had. And from now on, this is how I'm going to be making it. It has tremendous depth of flavor. It's not too spicy, even though it has a green chili. It's not really that hot. Then they brought out these homemade chips. And these come with um, like a tamarind chutney with it. Very lovely little refreshment before eating my dinner. I came here early and I can't wait to see what else comes out because so far I'm already so impressed. All right, so it's kind of getting loud in here, but I do want to show you the Darjeeling Express menu and kind of go over it. So for supper, you can only get the Royal Tally, which is, uh, the Royal Tally is, I, I'm sure I'm not pronouncing that right, but 65 pounds per person. Um, and you can choice of the first dish, the second dish, and all the rest just come with it. So the first choice is the, between the Meti chicken and the Kalakana. I picked Meti chicken. Uh, which they said is kind of the spicier one of the two. And then for the second, I got the prawn dish, which is a Bengali dish, and a lot of the cooks in this kitchen are Bengalese. So I wanted to make sure I got something from their culture. And here it comes. Thank you. Okay, so in case you didn't hear that, um, I, there's two first choices I got, and then there's all these side accompaniments that just come with it. And then later on, I'm going to get this trio of desserts. You don't have to pick just one. They give you all three. I love that because it's really hard to pick desserts sometimes, and I just want all of them. So I get to have all of them, which is great. Now I'm going to dig in. Okay, so now it's time to dig in, and I don't even know where to start because it all looks amazing. I'm not going to use a pop dum just yet. I want to try each thing separately. So I think I'm gonna start with the prawn Bengalese curry. It's a coconut curry. If that's the only thing I got here, I'm really happy. That's amazing. It's quite spicy too. Rich, creamy, um, a little bit tomatoey. It's beautiful. And now the methi chicken which is the one with fenugreek in it. Now it's hard to pick. That one's a little bit, it's very spicy. A little bit tangy and sour. Wow. Even for me, it's spicy. And I love that. Some of these items, I don't even know what they are. I'll have to refer back to that menu. I think that one is a lentil dish. Yeah, I think this one is actually the Bengali aloo dam, which is a potato and fresh coriander. That's quite nice. There's a beetroot raita here, which is a pink raita. Usually raita is just basically yogurt. This one's pink, it's very pretty. My fucking God, all of this is good. Okay. And it's too bad they're closed tomorrow because I'll come back again tomorrow. But I leave on Monday. Fuck, what is that one? That one's tamarind dal, I think. And then they're rice. I mean, the Indians know how to make rice, right? So let's try this. Delicious. Thank you. I haven't tried everything yet, but it's all delicious already. Thank you, yeah. The rice is full of cloves. It's lovely. Like a lot of clove in here. So clearly I need to make my rice with cloves. And the chutney, I tried that already. Actually no, it was pickles. A selection of pickles and they're very spicy. I'm gonna try the tomato chutney next. It's sweet and it's smoky. It's deep. 
that sweetens the palate after all the spice. That one's a really nice touch. I wish they would have doubled that, actually. So overall, it exceeded my expectations. I would go back in a heartbeat. I have no problems giving this recommendation. It was fantastic. And the other cool thing is, it's in a little complex that's like three floors, and it's full of amazing restaurants. I only got to experience this one, but I would love to go back and try some more. They have a little Peruvian restaurant, a sourdough pizza place. There's a lot to explore in this area.